I'd like to read an opening statement. This is to advise the general public that in compliance with Chapter 231 of the Public Laws of 1975, entitled Senator Byron M. Bear Open Public Meeting Act, New Jersey Casino Control Commission on December 8th, 2021, filed with the Secretary of State at the State House in Trenton and annual meeting schedule. On December 9th, 2020, copies were mailed to subscribers. Any member of the public who wish to address the commission will be given the opportunity to do so before the commission adjourns for the day. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Welcome everyone who is joining us in person and remotely today. For this meeting, we are permitting meeting participants who wish to do so to continue to address the commission through remote technology. We are also permitting in-person participation. The public meeting room is therefore open and appropriate health measures are being taken. We will, however, continue to stream our public meetings. The public is able to listen through access provided on the Commission's website as well as through our YouTube channel. We will accept public comments via email. Public comments can be set, sent to public.comments at ccc.nj.gov. I will repeat that. Public comments can be sent to public.comments at ccc.nj.gov beginning now and any time throughout the meeting, ending at the time of adjournment. This meeting will be transcribed as well as recorded and minutes will be available on our website in due course. To meeting participant callers, I ask that you follow the instructions provided with the web link or the audio call-in code and please place your phones on mute until your matter is called. Also, please remember to identify yourself before speaking. Good morning. Please answer when I call your name for the roll, please. Commissioner Molyneux? Present. Vice Chair Cooper? Here. And Chairman Pelosi? Present. Thank you. Before we begin today, I want to take a brief moment to acknowledge a, the tragic passing of attorney Harry Jackson III. At 33 years old, Harry was a continuing rising star within the gaming legal community. Always prepared and personable, Harry was a consummate professional and a true gentleman. He will be deeply missed, and on behalf of myself as well as the entire commission, we extend our deepest condolences to Harry's family, friends, and colleagues. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Matters discussed and reviewed in closed session this morning included uh, employee key license application matters and approval of the minutes of the June the June 8, 2022 closed session as well as the July 7, 2022 closed session minutes. The first matter for your consideration is the ratification of the minutes of the July 7, 2022 public meeting and the July 27, 2022 special meeting. First, I would ask that you consider the July 7, 2022 public meeting minutes. Are there any questions for council? No. no. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to ratify the minutes of the July 7, 2022 meeting. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. Next for your consideration is the ratification of the July 27, 2022 special meeting minutes. Are there any questions for council? No. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to ratify the minutes of the July 27, 2022 meeting. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. Item number two are applications for initial casino key employee licenses. 
They include Desiree M. Acevedo, Rebecca Holmes Vasquez, Haneel Patel, Joseph Prandado, Elena V. Rinaldi, Heather Shepard, also known as Heather M. Prickett, and Sydney Terrell. With respect to the matters of Acevedo, Holmes, Vasquez, and Ronaldo, I ask that those matters be called separately. The remaining initial key in, casino key employee license applications have been reviewed by the division as well as commission staff with a recommendation that they be granted. Are there any questions on any of these matters? No. no. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to grant the four initial casino key employee licenses. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. With respect to Desiree M. Aceveda, Rebecca Holmes Vasquez, and Elena V. Rinaldi, those matters have been reviewed by the Division and Commission staff, and there is a recommendation that those matters be remanded to the contested case process. Are there any questions regarding any of these matters? No. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to remand for a hearing the three initial casino key employee license applications. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. Item number three are applications for resubmitted casino key employee licenses and or for qualification. They include Dominique A. Burroughs, Edwin Collin, Heather R. Dans, also known as Heather R. Estille, Basile V. DeServo Sr., Joseph M. DiPietro, Linda Elefante, also known as Linda Kaderi, Christine Fable, also known as Christine Dyer, Barry R. Feldman, William L. Gormley, Joan Hans, also known as Joan Blanche, Louis G. Northrop, and Hansford Sitarum. All matters have been reviewed by Commission staff as well as Division with a recommendation that they be granted, their resubmission license applications be granted. I will respectfully request that Basil V. DeServo Sr. be called separately, as he also requires a qualification roll call vote. With respect to the remaining 11, staff recommends that those resubmitted casino key employee licenses be granted. Are there any questions regarding any of these matters? No. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman. I move to grant the 11 resubmitted casino key employee licenses. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. As indicated, with respect to Basil V. DeServo Sr., uh, there is also a recommendation that his resubmitted casino key employee license and qualification be granted to serve as Vice President of Player Development for Ocean Walk LLC. Are there any questions regarding this matter? No. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to grant resubmitted key license and qualification. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, roll call vote. Commissioner Molyneux? Yes. Vice Chair Cooper? Yes. And Chairman Pelosi? Yes. Item number four are approvals through delegation of authority between July 1, 2022 and July 31, 2022, pursuant to resolution <coughs> number 2201-1211B. I will defer to Patrick Eiler to review those matters with you. However, it is noted that no action is required. Good morning, Chairman and Commissioners. Patrick Eiler, Licensing and Financial Evaluation Manager, appearing on behalf of the Commission. Between July 1st and July 31st, 2022, the staff of the Commission's Regulatory Affairs Division granted the following approvals via its delegated authority. On July 5th, 2022, temporary casino key employee licenses were granted to David M. 
Arricio for a race book supervisor position, and to Unique M. James for an assistant security shift manager position, both at Brigada. To Arnold D. DeMarco for a casino game supervisor position at Harris Atlantic City, and to Quinteva Q. Ragland for an assistant security shift manager position at Tropicana Atlantic City. On July 6, 2022, a temporary casino key employee license was granted to Margarita Fox for a director of hotel operations position at Caesars Atlantic City. On July 13, 2022, temporary casino key employee licenses were granted to Sarah A. Farinaccio for a casino cashier supervisor position at Caesars Atlantic City. To Christopher M. Tilly, for a dual rate security supervisor slash shift manager position at Golden Nugget Atlantic City, and to Lorena M. Vasquez for a lead count room attendant position at Ocean Casino. On July 14, 2022, temporary casino key employee licenses were granted to John M. Previty and to Mihul Y. Shah, both for dual rate table game supervisor slash pit manager positions at Hard Rock Atlantic City. On July 20, 2022, a temporary casino key employee license was granted to Lawrence A. Davenport for a dual rate slot services supervisor slash shift manager position at Caesars Atlantic City. And on July 26, 2022, a temporary casino key employee license was granted to Matthew Castro for a casino cashier supervisor position at Caesars Atlantic City. This memorializes the noted approvals that were granted by the Commission's Division of Regulatory Affairs via its delegated authority during this period. No further Commission action is required. Thank you. Thank you. Item number five for your consideration are the lapsing of casino key employee licenses. Again, I will defer to Patrick Aila to review those matters with you. At this time, there are five individuals for your consideration to lapse their casino key employee license. In each of these cases, the casino key employee license review application filing deadline has passed and the individual has not filed a casino key employee license review application or requested to be placed on the approved and active list. Based on these facts, staff recommends that the casino key employee licenses of the following individuals be deemed to have lapsed. Daniel J. McMenamin, Lloyd J. Reynolds Jr., Louisa M. Rosenberg, Teresa A. Tyrell, and Charlie Ziegler. Are there any questions on any of these matters? No. Yeah. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to find that the five casino key employee licenses lapsed. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Item number six for your consideration is the reconsideration of the initial application of Edward Machinsky for a casino key employee license. Senior Counsel Teresa Pimpinelli will review that matter with you. Good morning, Chairman and Commissioners. Teresa Pimpinelli, Senior Counsel, appearing for the Commission. For your reconsideration is the initial casino key employee license of Edward Machinsky. By order dated July 15, 2020, the Commission granted Mr. Machinsky's initial casino key employee license subject to certain conditions. By letter dated June 10, 2022, the division alleged Mr. Machinsky was not in compliance with the conditions in the Commission's order. Mr. Machinsky was afforded multiple opportunities to address his alleged non-compliance, has not responded to Commission legal staff's communications. Accordingly, the matter is now before you for your reconsideration. You have staff's memo for this matter. I would ask Division Council to enter their appearance and proceed. Good morning, Chairman and Commissioners. Jocelyn Fedowitz, Deputy Attorney General on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement. On July 15, 2020, the Commission approved a stipulation of settlement entered between Edward Machinsky and the Division and granted Edward Machinsky's Casino Key Employee License. 
the stipulation of settlement required him to provide proof of monthly payments in accordance with his payment plan with the IRS and the New Jersey Division of Taxation on an annual basis commencing on December 15, 2020. On June 10, 2022, the division notified the commission that Edward Muchinski had not been in compliance with the stipulation of settlement. The commission scheduled a conference with Mr. Muchinski and the division on June 29th and July 7th of 2022, in which Edward Muchinski did not participate. In light of this information, the division respectfully requests that Edward Muchinski's Casino Key employee license be revoked due to his failure to comply with the stipulation of settlement and based on his abandonment of the licensing process. Thank you. Mr. McKinsky is not on the phone or here, correct? Okay, thank you. Are there any questions for counsel on this matter? No. No. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to A, find Edward Muchinski disqualified pursuant to NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 80 B and D and NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 86 B and NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 89 B and B also revoke his casino key employee license. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. Item number seven for your consideration is the stipulation of settlement in the initial application of Daniel Wright for a casino key employee license. Again, Senior Counsel Pippinelli will review that matter with you. Chairman and Commissioner, Teresa Pippinelli, again, on behalf of the Commission, for your consideration is a stipulation of settlement for the initial application of David Wright for his casino key employee license. Mr. Wright filed his initial application on June 4, 2021. If granted today, his license will be valid through August 31, 2027. You have staff's memo for this matter. Applicant was notified about today's meeting, advised he is unable to attend. Staff advised him his presence is not necessary for his matter to be considered. We now ask the division to enter their appearance and proceed. Chairman and Commissioner, Jocelyn Petto, it's Deputy Attorney General on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement. The division has something further on this matter and respectfully request that the stipulation be approved as submitted. Thank you. Are there any questions for counsel on this matter? No. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the stipulation of settlement between the division and applicant and grant the initial application of Daniel Wright for a casino key employee license subject to compliance with the terms and conditions as provided for in the stipulation. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. Item number eight is the stipulation of settlement in the initial application of Christian Golder for a casino key employee license. Again, Senior Counsel Pippinelli will address that matter with you. Chairman and Commissioner, Teresa Pimpinelli, Senior Counsel, appearing again on behalf of the uh, Commission before you is a stipulation of settlement, the initial application of Christian Golder for a casino key employee license. Mr. Golder filed his initial application on August 31st, 2021. If granted today, his key license will be valid through August 31st, 2027. You have staff's memo for this matter. Applicant is present for today's meeting. If, if you have any questions for him, otherwise I ask counsel for the division to please enter their appearance and proceed. Chairman and Commissioner Strauss and Fedowitz, Deputy Attorney General on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement. The Division has nothing further on this matter and respectfully request that the stipulation be approved as submitted. Uh, additionally, if Christian Golder wishes to speak, we just request that he be sworn in prior to making any statements. Mr. Golder, would you like to speak? No, sir, I'm okay. You're okay? That's it. Are there any questions for counsel or the applicant? No. no. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the stipulation of settlement between the division and applicant and grant the initial application of Christian Golder for casino key employee license subject to compliance with the terms and conditions as provided for in the stipulation. Thank you. 
Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Good luck, sir. You understand you have to follow those conditions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Item number eight is the stipulation of settlement in the initial application of Michelle Q. Forford for a casino key employee license. Again, Senior Counsel Pimpinelli will address it. Chairman and Commissioners, Teresa Pimpinelli, Senior Counsel here on behalf of the Commission. For your consideration is the stipulation of settlement for the initial <coughs> application of Michelle Q. Fulford for her casino key employee license. Ms. Fulford filed her initial application on October 27, 2021. And granted today your key license will be valid through August 31st, 2027. We have staff's memo on this matter. Applicant was notified about today's meeting and advised she's unable to attend and was then advised her presence is not necessary for her matter to be considered. We now ask the division to enter their appearance and proceed. Chairman and Commissioners Jocelyn Fedowitz, Deputy Attorney General on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement. The division has nothing further on this matter and respectfully request that the stipulation be approved as submitted. For the record, the applicant is not here or on the phone, correct? correct. Yeah. Are there any questions for counsel? No. no. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the stipulation of settlement between the division and applicant <clears throat> and grant the initial application of Michelle Q. Fulford for a casino key employee license, subject to compliance with the terms and conditions as provided for in the stipulation. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? <coughs> no. no. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. Just to correct the record, I call that matter as number eight. That was number nine. We are now at number 10, which is consideration of the initial application of Jose Salpoveda Cruz for a casino key employee license. Again, Senior Counsel Pipinelli will review that with you. Commissioner Teresa Pimpinelli again here for the commission for your consideration is the initial application of Mr. Sepulveda Cruz for his casino key employee license. He filed his initial application on December 6, 2021 and if granted his key license will be valid through August 31st, 2027. You have staff's memo for this matter. Applicant was notified about today's meeting but is not here. I would now ask the division council to enter their appearance and proceed. Chairman and Commissioners, Jocelyn Fedowitz, Deputy Attorney General on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement. The Division filed a supplemental report dated July 22, 2022, withdrawing the Division's request for a conference in this matter as the applicant has paid in full his debt with the United States Department of Education. Accordingly, the Division now recommends the granting of the application for a casino key employee license. Thank you. Thank you. Again, for the record, the applicant is not here or on the phone. Correct. Are there any questions for counsel? No. Hearing none, is there a motion on this matter? Mr. Chairman, I move to grant the initial application of Jose Sepulveda Cruz for a casino key employee license. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. Item number 11 is consideration of the initial application of David Kloster for a casino key employee license. Again, Senior Counsel Pimpinelli will review that with you. Chairman and Commissioners, Teresa Pimpinelli, Senior Counsel here for the Commission. Your consideration is a stipulation of settlement for the initial application of David Kloster for his casino key employee license. He filed his initial application on October 27, 2021, and if granted today, his license will be valid through August 31st, 2027. You have staff's memo for this matter and ask counsel for the division to enter their appearance. Chairman and Commissioners, Jocelyn Fedowitz, Deputy Attorney General, on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement. The division has nothing further on this matter and respectfully request that the stipulation be approved as submitted. Thank you. Again, Mr. Closter is not here or on the phone. Correct. Are there any questions for counsel? No. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman. I move to approve the stipulation of settlement between the division and applicant and grant the initial application of David Kloster for a casino key employee license subject to compliance with the terms and conditions 
as provided for in this stipulation. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Item number 12 is the consideration of the initial casino key employee licensure and plenary qualification of John Baldessaro III to serve as Vice President of Security for Harris Atlantic City Operating Company, LLC. You may recall, uh, Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, that this matter was initially initiated for your consideration back in November of 2021 by petition 333-2102, seeking uh, Mr. Baldessaro's temporary qualification to serve in the capacity of Vice President of Security. You considered that petition at your December 8, 2021 public meeting and granted it as reflected in Resolution 21. 120810. You are now here to consider his plenary qualification for initial casino key employee licensure and plenary qualification. You do have counsel both for Mr. Baldazaro and Harris, Atlantic City, here as well as counsel for the division. And with your permission, Mr. Chairman, I ask that they enter their appearances and proceed. Good morning, Chairman, members of the Commission, Pacifico Agnolini on behalf of Brownstein, or from Brownstein High Barber Shack on behalf of Harris Atlantic City Operating Company, LLC, and uh, John Baldassar. Good morning, Chairman and Commissioners. Connor Martin, uh, Deputy Attorney General on behalf of the Division Gang Enforcement. Before you today for consideration is the initial uh, Casino Key Employee License and Plenary Qualification of John Baldassaro to serve as Vice President of Security for Harris Atlantic City Operating Company, LLC. Baldassaro is here with me today. Uh, we have reviewed the report, the draft resolution, have no comments, and would ask that you approve same. Thank you. The division submitted a plenary report on July 21st, 2022, recommending that John Baldassaro III be granted a casino key employee license and plenary qualification to serve as Vice President of Security for Harris Atlantic City Operating Company. We have also reviewed the draft resolution and have no objection. Thank you. Are there any questions for counsel on this matter? No. No. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to adopt the draft resolution and A, grant an initial casino key employee license to John Baldessaro III, pursuant to NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 89 B and B also find Mr. Baldessaro qualified to serve as Vice President of Security for Harris Atlantic City Operating Company LLC in accordance with NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 85.1 and NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 89 B and NJAC 13 colon 69 C dash 2.6. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, roll call vote. Commissioner Molyneux? Yes. Vice Chair Cooper? Yes. And Chairman Pelosi? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next matter for your consideration is item number 13, which is consideration of the plenary qualification of Noel Hayden as a security holder of Bally's Corporation. By way of background, this matter was initiated for your consideration by way of a petition, PRN 3092101, filed November 5, 2021, seeking the temporary qualification of Mr. Hayden as a more than 5% security holder of Bally's Corporation. You granted that temp qualification at your December 8, 2021 public meeting as reflected in Resolution 21 120814 You now have before you consideration of Mr. Hayden's plenary qualification. Council is present both on behalf of Bally's Corporation and Mr. Hayden and for the division, and with your permission, Mr. Chairman, I would ask that they enter their appearances and address the commission directly. Yes, good morning, Chair Commissioners. Lynn Kaufman, Cooper Levinson, on behalf of Bally's Corporation, 
Premier Entertainment, Ace Atlantic City LLC, and Noel Hayden. Thank you. Good morning, Chairman and Commissioners. Alessandra Baldini, Deputy Attorney General, on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement. Thank you. Um, as stated before you today is consideration of the plenary qualification of Noel Hayden as a 5% or more shareholder of Bally's Corporation. I have reviewed the resolution and have no objections and ask that the requested relief be granted. Thank you. You have the division's report dated July 27th recommending that the commission find Noel Hayden qualified, plenarily qualified. We too have received the resolution and have no objections. Thank you. Are there any questions for counsel on this matter? No. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to adopt the draft resolution and find Noel Hayden qualified to serve as a security holder of Bally's Corporation in accordance with NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 85.1 C and NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 89 B 1 and 2 and NJAC 13 colon 69 C dash 2.7. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, roll call vote. Commissioner Molino? Yes. Vice Chair Cooper? Yes. And Chairman Pelosi? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Item number 14 for your consideration is the joint petition of Boardwalk 1000 LLC and HR Atlantic City LLC for the issuance of a temporary casino key employee license to Anthony Ferranca pursuant to NJSA 51289E with a multi-casino endorsement pursuant to NJSA 51291.1 and to permit him to assume the duties and exercise the powers of president pending plenary qualification. Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, this matter was initially brought to your attention by way of a petition that was filed on May 24, petition number 1442201, seeking Mr. Veronica's temporary qualification to serve as general manager of Boardwalk 1000 and HR Atlantic, of HR Atlantic City. That, temp that temporary uh, qualification and licensure was granted by you at your June 8, 22 public meeting. A petition was subsequently filed on August 8, petition number 2212202, seeking Mr. Ferranca's temporary qualification and temporary licensure to serve as president of Boardwalk 1000 LLC and HR Atlantic City LLC. That is the matter that is before you today, the temporary qualification and temporary key licensure to serve in the additional, the, the subsequent position of president. You do have, I believe, counsel for Boardwalk and HR Atlantic City on Zoom, and you have division counsel present. And with your permission, I would ask that they address the commission directly on the matter. Good morning, uh, Chairman and Commissioners. This is Nanette Horner. I am General Counsel for Boardwalk 1000 LLC and HR Atlantic City LLC. I've reviewed the draft resolution and I respectfully request that you approve it to enable Mr. Ferranca to assume the duties and powers of President to be effective on September 1, 2022. Good morning, Chairman and Commissioners, Deputy Attorney General Jordan Hollander on behalf of the Division of Gaming Enforcement. You have the Division's response with no objection to the requested relief. The Division has also reviewed the draft resolution and has no objection. Thank you very much. Are there any questions for counsel on this matter? No. Hearing none, is there a motion on this matter? Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the joint petition and issue a temporary casino key employee license to Anthony Farraka pursuant to NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 89B and NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 89E and with a multi-casino endorsement pursuant to NJSA 5 colon 12 dash 
and permit him to assume the duties and exercise the powers of President for Boardwalk 1000 LLC and HR Atlantic City LLC, pending plenary qualification in accordance with the conditions contained in NJSA 5-12-85.1 and NJAC 13-69C-2.6 and 2.7. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, roll call vote. Commissioner Molyneux? Yes. Vice Chair Cooper? Yes. And Chairman Pelosi? Yes. Mr. Chairman, with your permission, I would note on the record that with respect to Mr. Ferranca's matter, the period in which the temporary qualification and temporary key licensure would extend would be to March 8, 2023, which is nine months from the initial temporary qualification and temporary licensure back at your June meeting. Thank you. The final item for your consideration is item number 15, which is consideration of the notice of publication. I will correct the agenda to reflect publication for new rules and general provisions, chapter 40A, NJAC 19, colon 40A, applications for key em employee license, chapter 41A, NJAC 19, colon 41A, and casino licensing, chapter 43A, NJAC 19, colon 43A. Senior Counsel Pimpinelli is here to address that matter with you. Good morning, Chairman and Commissioners. Teresa Pimpinelli, Senior Counsel here on behalf of the Commission again. The Commission's rules contained in Chapters 40A, 41A, and 43A of Section 19 of the Administrative Code expired on July 6, 2022. The Commission is now proposing to adopt the expired rules without change as proposed new rules. If you approve this publication, the expired rules proposes new rules will be published and after the comment period, the commission will have an opportunity to adopt them. Staff has recommended that the commission approve to publish the expired rules proposes new rules. Are there any questions for council on this matter? No. no. Hearing none, is there a motion? Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the new rules for publication. Is there a second? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, ayes have it. Thank you, Teresa. In accordance with resolution 22120803, the next closed session shall be held on Wednesday, September 14, 2022, in the Commission offices. This is the public participation portion of the meeting. Is there anyone from the public that wishes to speak? Please. Don't be afraid. Um, hello, Lynn Kaufman, Cooper Levinson. Um, on behalf of myself and Cooper Levinson, I want to acknowledge the tremendous loss of my our colleague, Harry Jackson, who I was honored to call a colleague and who was a shining light to his family, friends, community, and the gaming bar. And I just wanted to acknowledge that you know, in this place that uh, he devoted a lot of time to. So thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for those kind words. Ms. Fulmer, right? Do we? I'm sorry. Yes, please. Um, on behalf of myself and my colleagues in the division, I'd also like to add our condolences to the tragic passing of Harry Jackson. It was always a pleasure working with him, and we were all missing. Thank you. Ms. Fulmer, right? Do we have any email questions? No, Mr. Chairman. No, we don't. Okay. The public participation portion is now closed. Is there a motion to adjourn this meeting? Mr. Chairman, I'll make the motion to adjourn. Is there a second? I second the motion. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. The meeting is now adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.